Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm a mom of two little girls. I have a five-year-old named Kylie and I also have a three-year-old named Mia. It is 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday and I am here back, I should say, at Ikea. I'm gonna be continuing the little mini-series that I've been doing going into various stores. If you have not seen the previous videos that I've already done, then I'll put links to those in the description box down below. Definitely check those out. We've already done one Ikea trip looking just at Practical Life items and today I am back to look exclusively for baskets, trays, and anything that you could use for like out of rotation storage. So let's go. So starting with trays, I did find two that were wooden. This one was a bit on the larger side, definitely for a larger activity, but still manageable for a child, especially since it has the handles on both sides. And then I did see this other one that was similarly sized, except it just had a small lip around the edge as opposed to an actual handle, but still totally doable. But that was really it for wooden trays. I did find a couple of plastic trays. These ones were very small melamine trays that I actually thought were pretty cute. I picked up a few for myself. Um, they're really good for practical life work, especially anything that involves water because you don't have the worry of it soaking into the wood on the tray if it isn't cleaned up right away. And I did like how small these were. I would say they were definitely the most child friendly as far as the size goes out of all the trays that I saw. And then there was also this one lunch style tray that I actually have and use at home all the time and it's great for larger messy activities. Now moving on to baskets, I did find this metal wire basket with a wooden carry handle that I definitely felt was manageable for a child and also small enough to fit on a shelf as well along with this other metal basket that was a lot smaller. It did have two handles on either side, but ironically enough, it was actually a little bit heavier. So there was definitely that to consider. As far as plastic baskets go, Ikea had a lot of options here. This one I actually showed in my Practical Life video, but I thought it would be good for shelf work too, since it has that one side that's slightly lower. And I was actually really impressed by the quality and how sturdy they felt. I also found this series of plastic bins that felt like they were made from the same material as the last ones, except these ones come with lids. They also had them available in a variety of different sizes. And I liked the fact that they were small, but also shallow enough to be used as trays for shelf work if you wanted, but then and they also come with the lid, so it gives you the flexibility to potentially use them for storage of small items as well. I also found a small plastic organizing tray that you could buy smaller bins for inside of that I thought would be great for housing some of the smaller pieces of activities. Now moving on to baskets made of natural materials, of which IKEA had no shortage, and that's great because these are ideal in a Montessori environment. So the first one that I found is actually a set of three nesting baskets that come with lids. I thought these were so cute. I actually bought some for myself. I imagine that they could be used for storing small musical instruments or small pieces of activities or potentially even used for some open and close work. There was also this set of smaller nesting baskets that had lids, except these ones were rectangular and they only came with two. But again, I thought it would be fun for hiding small items or doing open and close work. And then there was also this set of smaller baskets that did not have lids, but would be good for the storage of small parts within trays on the shelf. Speaking of which, I found a woven basket that was very shallow and had even like a little divot on one side, perfect for storing shelf work for a small child. I also saw this really beautiful woven basket that was quite shallow that I thought would be perfect for things like balls or musical instruments. And I also saw these Smara boxes with lids that I've seen a lot on Instagram. It's actually a box, but if you use the parts individually, you can also use them as trays on your shelf as well. And then there was also this bigger set that came with the lid and then a deeper basket. I also saw a couple of other similarly sized baskets that I felt were maybe a little too large for traditional shelf work activities, but they are still small enough to fit on a shelf. So if you needed to store something that was slightly larger in size, these baskets would definitely fit the bill because they were still small enough to actually sit on a shelf alongside other trays. And then I did also see a couple of much larger floor baskets that I thought would be really great for storing much larger items, large balls, work rugs maybe, things that aren't necessarily gonna go on the shelf, but they would be in your child's play space otherwise. And then I couldn't leave this area without taking a look at the bins that fit into the cube style shelving units 
because even though we wouldn't use these for traditional style Montessori shelf work, they're just too tall, they actually work really well for storing a lot of our open-ended plate items that you will find in a Montessori home, like a set of wooden blocks, for example, or a set of play scarves, or maybe some baby dolls and the accessories that go along with that. So they had a whole lot of options in this department for the cube style bins of all different kinds of materials, some that were made of more natural woven materials, and then there was an actual solid wooden one that I showed you just a moment ago. And then there were these more fabric lightweight ones as well that were definitely a bit easier on the wallet. And then finally for out of rotation storage, I saw this cute little wooden chest of drawers that I thought would be really great for storing extra art supplies, possibly out in the play space or not, up to you. There was also this little pack of three plastic storage boxes with lids that again would be great for art supplies. And then I found even more of those same plastic storage boxes with lids that we saw earlier, except in much larger sizes. So these would be more ideal for storing larger toys and other activities. I also saw this similar looking one that did not have a lid and had a slightly open front. So good for more grab and go kind of storage. There is also this new series of plastic totes that come with lids and have carry handles on the side that I thought would be good for out of rotation storage because they are semi-transparent so you can kind of see what the contents are inside a little bit and they also did come in a variety of different sizes. And then there was also a whole section of these cube style cardboard bins with lids that would definitely be great for lightweight storage but not for anything super heavy. However, if you are in need of some heavy duty storage bins, Ikea also has you covered there. I found two different series of bins that I really liked. These were a set of super heavy duty plastic stackable totes that came with lids that were also available in two different colors, a cream and a sage green, and in a variety of different sizes. The primary downside being that obviously you can't see through them. Whereas this series of standard clear transparent plastic totes with lids not only have great visibility of the items inside, but they're also slightly more affordable and they offer a greater variety of size options from small one gallon totes all the way up to the massive 30 gallon totes. Okay, I am all done. I felt like I had a more limited selection of child-sized trays. There were a couple, there were obviously a lot more trays, but some of them were just way too big for like a small child to handle. So I didn't include any of those. I really just focused on the child-sized ones. And then there were so many baskets. Oh my gosh, I actually got through like the majority of the store really quickly. And when I got to the basket section, it was just like er, grinding halt. I spent like another half hour, 40 minutes just in the basket section. There were just so many options as far as like things that you could use in your child's play space, like on the shelves. And then, you know, maybe for larger items, bigger baskets off to the side. And then obviously a ton of out of rotation storage too. So. Overall, I think that was a pretty successful trip. I am still planning to continue this little mini series for a couple more areas of the Montessori home in Ikea specifically. So if you've been enjoying these, then definitely stay tuned because I've got a few more coming. But if you did find today's video helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more practical tips and advice for implementing Montessori at home with your children, then you might also consider subscribing to my channel. This way you don't miss a new video. My new book, The Montessori Home, Create a Space for Your Child to Thrive is now available in paperback, ebook, and audiobook on Amazon and in all major book retailers. I also have several e-courses and online community just for Montessori parents. And I also offer live video coaching sessions. So links to all of those resources are in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.